sounds bad. Mateo, lawsuit era base. It's uh, circa 1983, I believe. I crossed the serial number on the headstock here. Oh, it was 82. Yeah. It was headed for the trash. The only thing that I've actually replaced on this was all the electronics. I used a stereo jack, uh, switchcraft, and then I uh, used the, the ring is grounded, so it's part of the shield, so it just gives me a better shield contact. And uh, then I used uh, vintage taper pots, CTS for the volume and the tone. And it's got a uh, 6800 picofarad capacitor for the tone cap, and it really brightens this up. It was really dark. Now it's, you can hear it, it's got a lot of pizzazz to it. Uh, but you can dial it off and uh, still get usable tone, where most tone controls just act like a uh, another volume control, an attenuator, if you will. But uh, the volume control has got a treble bleed uh, circuit. It's a uh, 680 picofarad capacitor in parallel with a 120 ohm uh, resistor, and that's in parallel with the potentiometer and that allows me to turn the volume down and not lose any highs it sounds the same no matter where you set this volume that's why I selected the capacitive and resistive values to get it to sound best with these pickups and you saw me tweaking the pickups there are two separate pickups here and they both have to be adjusted to get balance uh, between all the strings and that's something I'm still working on, still dialing it in. I don't know how to play bass. I've never played. That's the first time I've ever played a bass. And uh, that's probably... I tried to play this thing when I first got it, and it was unplayable. The foam under the pickups was totally rotten, and you couldn't even adjust the, these two ends of the pickups up to, to match the radius of the strings. I mean, the, the inside of the pickups was lower than the outside, and it's supposed to be the other way. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I had to do was get some new foam and uh, redo that so I could see if the pickups even worked. And uh, the pickups seem to be pretty solid. Uh, they're not potted. I, I don't know why the Koreans, well actually this is Japanese base, so I don't know why the Japanese didn't pop the pickups, but uh, there's a lot of harmonics and stuff in it that probably wouldn't be there if uh, they had potted them. But uh, all of the wiring inside has been replaced with uh, vintage pushback wiring. It's all been shielded, that's why it's so quiet when it was plugged in, it's just a super quiet passive base. I had all of the the, bra the brass tail pieces all been uh, polished and then coated. It needs to be buffed up again. It's kind of dirty from sitting around. But uh, I did the frets, leveled them, and redressed them. And uh, I had to replace the tuners. I couldn't find the replacement tuner, but one of the tuners was stripped. And uh, so what I did was I looked around and I found a pair of hip shot brass and uh, they had the exact same footprint and used the same screw holes as the original. They're just a little bit bigger in size so it covers up the footprint of the old tuners and it just looks like they're supposed to be there. They operate really well. Uh, yeah, they're nice uh, hip shot tuners. Very nice. I haven't even taken the plastic off. But uh, yeah, it's a really nice, really nice base. And then I'm using uh, old vintage witch hats 
for the volume and tone knobs. It's a sweet bass. I like it. I uh, just got to dial in the neck. And that would be really nice.